Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back. I am back with another uh, review of the latest Curse of Rock Island uh, episode. It was uh, this is for season seven, I believe, it's episode twenty-three. Um, I don't know whether this says twenty-three. I don't know. I thought it'd be twenty-two, but it says twenty-three. Even though last last week's episode was twenty-one. Um, I know I'm a little, little bit late to this. We've been a little bit busy busy lately, so I didn't get to this episode until. Um, today, so yeah, so we're gonna t- just talk about it a little bit. Um, this week seemed to be, I, I think it's gonna get, get a little bit more interesting with the last week they showed, you know, the upcoming episode. It looked like they were gonna find a, a decent amount of wood, which they did. Um, but first, let's just, you know, let's, let's talk about first, let's talk about the swamp. Um, they, you know, did some more digging and metal detecting in the in the swamp, of course, and Gary did, and he, because he found some more miscellaneous stuff, you know, some of the stuff doesn't really intrigue me too much, but I guess I'm looking for the, the bigger things to happen, but I, I guess it's kind of interesting, but it's more questions than answers, you know, they find, um, but they find some, some, some time, which is, a, I guess, some, uh, it's like part of like a seaweed or a moss fork, I guess, to clear this, this type of stuff. Uh, that's what they think it is. They went to, uh, was it the Ross Frost Museum and visited the blacksmith there and he seemed to know a little bit about it. They keep going to this guy and he seems to know a lot about this stuff. So he's given him the information what he thinks this stuff is. Uh, I don't know if it actually is, but I mean, who knows? I don't think they'll ever really be 100% sure, but that's just his best guess of what this, this, these items were. Um, there's stuff... Uh, that was the other thing. There was a mile and mile and spike for for we say he thought for weaving. So they find out these 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 small tools in the in the swamp area, and they also found some some burnt wood. And so they started to think maybe they they, they set the, a ship to, or a the, the ship on fire and sunk it on purpose. That's why they find all these metal objects and small amounts of wood. But there's nothing really conclusive yet. You know they saw about the skin that they did. Saying there's some big anomaly in the swamp, and they, and they also still believe that, that the swamp is one part of the ocean, and that the islands were separate. They weren't just one island altogether. Uh, again, it's, it's still another mystery that they have yet, yet to to solve. Um, they so anyway, so let's get to the big stuff. They they start digging around shaft eight with a much larger. Uh, machine at this time and around 100 feet they started you know encountering a lot of the larger pieces of wood I really thought they were going to find something really big I mean I th- and, but then they started just pulling up water so they, they you know they, they kind of gave up on it which kind of surprised me obviously I mean if you if there's a tunnel on the ground you would go they'd possibly dug right through the tunnel from the top down the bottom and they just kind of gave up on it because it was just water so I don't know why they don't, they wouldn't, you know, try to excavate more from one side to the other, so straight down. Um, because that would, you know, if it's a tunnel, you it's, it's going to go left to right, it's not going to go straight down. I mean, I can see it was a shaft, but I think that they were assuming there's a shaft that they ran into and not a tunnel. Um, it just blows my mind how the you know, how the, this thing was at a hundred and 100 feet or so, 101 feet, how they were able to dig that deep. Like, how did these people get a shaft or tunnel that, that deep? I, I don't understand it, but the, the technology back then versus now, I just, I don't know, unless the landscape train changed that drastically. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Of, um, who was it? I forget the other guy's name was, not Gary. Um, it was, they were going through the, the sport and they found it, but they thought maybe was some leather, but they don't know if it was a little tiny piece. It could be leather, it could be really, could be really nothing. They were supposed to send up to get it tested to find out what exactly it was. Um, episode, you know, it was okay. I mean, I was, I was expecting more out of, out of the day when they started finding what it was kind of excited, but then they gave up on it. They gave up too quickly. I mean, they, they definitely have to excavate a larger area. I don't think just digging down a, a tunnel, even if it's eight feet in diameter, that it's really gonna, you're gonna find what you need to be a bigger scale, but I don't know how they have the means to, to do that. Um, yeah, so I think that that's the, that was about it. I mean, the, just the wood, I mean, I thought this episode might be a little bit more exciting, but other than find, you know, the little pieces of, of 
wood um, and leather and, and you know in the swamp area and then the, the larger piece of wood in the, that one town but they gave up on it and then there really wasn't else, a whole lot going on is they do a lot of investigating so maybe next week there'll be, there'll be much larger things going on we'll have to wait to find out um, so yeah I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video if you guys like this video give me a like and give me a subscribe until next time